How are we doing guys and girls? Welcome back to episode two of Three Minute Thursday, season four. And today's pour, today's move, is an old school pour that you need to know, okay? I learned this pour at the very, very beginning of my flair career. And uh, there's a few di different variations I'm gonna show you today, which you can learn, super easy to do. Looks really cool. Um, a guy called James Todd used to claim that he invented it, he didn't. It was from TGI Fridays. TGI Fridays uh, had this into their training. Anyway, without further ado, I'm gonna show you what the pour is. It's called the Vogue pour. Some of you may know it, it's that's the simplest version of the pour, but of course there's upgrades. So you can pour, bounce down, okay? Or, pop that pause button in. You can do the pour, bounce down, the double, the double drop, one more time. The pour, bounce down, oh, bounce down, catch. Still there. Or you can do the pour, bounce down to stall, Boom, okay, and pick up that other tin. All really simple to do, it all based around the same move. So if you learn the first concept of the move, the rest becomes super easy. So this is how it works. Should be able to get this one very, very easily. The Vogue pour, this is how it works. So uh, first off in your left hand, you're gonna grab the shaker, open and down, tennis grab like this. Again, I've got my empty bottle right here. Uh, you're gonna grab the, sh the bottle with tennis grab as well. So you're grabbing both bottle and shaker like this. Now, what's gonna happen? Your left hand is gonna come over the top of your right arm, okay? So you're gonna be like this, and you see how the pour and the, the shaker are almost together anyway. And then you just turn over like that. So it looks kind of awkward because this bottle, this arm is at a right angle with your back of the hand facing towards you and this arm is a right angle this way with the back of the hand facing towards you and you're just pouring. Now the tricky part is when you come to cut off and finish, you can just go bounce and come back. So you go pour, bounce and back, pour, bounce and back. Or you can go bounce and then you drop it down over, okay, so you're looking a bit more awkward and you're just holding on to it with your thumb and your index finger. So the bottle is facing down. Now when it's in this position, you're gonna drop it and as you drop it, let's put that down for a second, you're gonna drop it, but I want you to lift it slightly. So you lift it slightly and you let go and drop. And as you drop, your hand comes down and catches it over here. So lift slightly, so even bending my knees a little bit, up and grab, okay? So the whole thing would look like this. Over, over, pour, bounce, okay, here, up, drop. Easy, okay? The next one is a little bit more difficult, but I'm gonna switch that one and come back to that one and show you the stool first. So the stool, same move again, but instead of catching it, you're gonna throw it a little bit higher and you're gonna stick your hand underneath and stall it, whoops, like this, onto the back of your hand. I mean, I've never tried it, but the better you get at it, you can use your arm as well, or oh, you can get your elbow under there, if you can, there it is, okay? So you can upgrade it in that way. So pour, bounce, boom, bam. Let's use the full one again. Pour, bounce, down, stall. And then whilst you're stalling, you can pour the, the liquid into your shaker. And then finally, the double drop, which I claim to be the first move that I ever invented myself. It was a, an upgrade from this move. So basically, instead of just dropping the bottle, you're dropping the tin as well. Now the difference here is your, <laughs> ah, I've never had to teach this to anyone before. The difference here is oh, you're catching the shaker with your right hand. So at the moment, your right hand is doing all the work and catching the bottle. But the, when the, with, the, with the double drop, you're throwing both up. So same movement as before, you're throwing the bottle up. Your hand, your right hand is coming to grab the shaker and your left hand is just grabbing the bottle in this position. So let me just, left hand is like this, and right hand is like this. Practice that first so you understand how it's going on. The left and the right hand are going away from each other, so that when you do both, okay, you end up in this position, all right? So one more time, over, pour, boom, bam, up, catch, add a little, another little flurry in there, 
Boom. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy, not difficult, difficult, lemon difficult. That is the Vogue pour. If you don't know that pour, you can learn that today. It doesn't even take one minute to learn how to do it, the simple version. Upgrade it, let me know how you get on. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment in the comments box below. When you do that, it really helps me, and it helps me to make more of these three minute Thursday videos. So, I hope you enjoyed that one. Until next time, see you then.